Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a content calendar on ClickUp. Now, I've been using ClickUp personally for my own business for many months now, and it really is such a great place to plan and execute on your content ideas. A great thing about ClickUp is that it allows you to really scale with a team. And yeah, it's super simple to make a content calendar. I'm gonna show you guys how to make one using the template that comes with ClickUp, as well as how you can adjust and make it to your own liking. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here on my own ClickUp account, and what I'm gonna do is go to tasks right here and I'm going to scroll here to add space from here I'm gonna to go to templates and here I'm gonna actually search for content as you guys can see ClickUp has so many different templates that you can actually import into your own ClickUp dashboard and yeah it's really really cool so what I encourage you guys to do is scroll through some of these workspace templates see if any of these resonate with you and your business since you know everyone's business is gonna be a little bit different and then choose one that's going to match your content style so as you can see there are multiple multiple different content calendars. There's ones for content, for blogs, for podcasting. There's posting calendars, YouTube thumbnail calendars. And yeah, I'd love to tell you guys, hey, this is the best one, just use this one. But instead of doing that, I encourage you guys just look through these and see which one is the best for your specific business. So just for this video, I'm going to click on this featured content calendar template. And here you can see this includes different statuses. So open, writing, approval, update required, scheduled and published. We can change these later on if we want. They have five custom fields, publication date, link, channel, category, and shared URL, and then four view types. So list view, board, calendar view, and timeline view. All these things we can change or edit later on. But yeah, this sort of gives you a big overview of how this content calendar is structured. And as you can see, it's been used 84,000 times and it was created in November of 2020. So what I'm going to do now is click use template. So it's going to show you which folder it's going to be under. After that, you're going to select a location for this to be created. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to be putting it under my YouTube content space and I'll check mark that. Okay. You then have the option to import everything and then import as is for the project dates. So I'll just leave those as is. And then do you want to include archive tasks? I'll say no for now. And then I'm going to click use template. So bam, now you can see that the content calendar was created. I'm going to go here. You can see it's under content calendar right here. And this is under my YouTube content space. So now you guys, this is sort of where we can get creative with changing up the different statuses and all that stuff. I really like this type of view right here, the list view, because you can sort of see all the different things all at once you can just easily scroll down see which videos or pieces of content are in which stage and yeah basically as you can see there's different statuses from you know just starting to published so now what i like to do is actually switch up the order right so right here we have the published ones on top and then the you know open ones on the bottom what i like to do is come here to group by status i'll click on that and i'm going to click this right here it's going to flip the status so now basically we have the brand new ones up here and then as you go down down the list that's when you get to the published status. I also don't like these names all that much. So what I'm going to do is click rename. You guys can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it idea. You can choose a color as well. It's going to ask, should we change statuses for this list only or the entire folder? I'm going to say this list only and click save. And if you want to change this, of course, you can come here to rename and change that to, let's say, scripting. Of course, use whatever word resonates for you and your business. Click save. And yeah, go ahead and change all these names if you want, or you guys can just keep it as is. Here we can assign different team members to individual projects. You guys can set a due date right here. So if I click on this, I can say, hey, I want it to go out on 26th, right? So here we have a link. What you guys can do is click on this. You can actually change this if you want. You can delete it. You can add different fields. This is going to show the channel that this piece of content is on. So this is really great if you have multiple channels, for example, a YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is. Here we have category and then of course, publication date. Okay. So what you guys can do is you guys can come here to add a column and they're going to have a ton of different things you can use. For example, email, you can have different labels. You can even have formulas. You can have progress, right? So it's going to show you the completion status. You can have text, you can have drop down menus. And yeah, there's so much you can do with this. What I just recommend doing is add as many of these as you want to track and then start using something like this to really track your content. Of course, play around with different views, right? So some of you guys will like the list view. Some of you guys will like the board view. Maybe this is what the board 
view looks like. It's more of like open. There's also the calendar view. So I really like this to see which things are due on which dates. And yeah, there's even a timeline calendar as well, but I hardly ever use that one. I'd say for most of you guys, list board or calendar is going to be great. You'll probably have list or board as your main view. And then you'll use the calendar view just to get an overall scope of, you know, when things are being posted and when things are due. So now in terms of clicking on one of these, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'll click on this one right here. It's going to open up this whole thing. What I like to do is I like to type notes in the description and stuff right here. So any ideas, brainstorming, whatever, I'll do it right here. Here's where you can actually change you know, the category, the channel, all that stuff. Of course, we can add or edit different fields. You guys now actually have to do lists where you guys can assign these to team members on your team. And yeah, I'm not going to get into too many details because this video could be like, you know, hour, two hours long. But basically what I like to do is I like to come here to add attachments. I'll create a new Google Doc and those documents are going to be attached here. If you guys don't want to use Google Docs, you can also just click new doc. It's going to create a document within ClickUp. Of course, you can, you know, name it script. And then this is basically where you type out the script. They have tons of commands that you guys can use. For example, you know, I'm going to do dash and then let's say heading. You guys can do lists. You guys can put pages within the script. You guys can put pictures. You can mention the person. Tons and tons of things. You can even embed different apps into here. So it's really cool. So yeah, after I click out of that, you guys can see that script has been created and it's now attached to this ClickUp document. If you want to talk to your team, you guys can do that right here and tag different people. So for example, I can tag you know, my assistant and say stuff like that. And yeah, that's basically how you create a content calendar. Again, tons and tons of different customizations you guys can do. There's different ways to automate things. And yeah, ClickUp is a very powerful software, but it does have somewhat of a learning curve. Essentially though, I showed you guys how to create a content calendar as well as how to edit the different statuses and sort of customize it for your own liking. Anyways, that's how you make a content calendar on ClickUp. As you guys can see, it's very easy to do. And while I'd say that ClickUp is not as beginner friendly as a platform like Notion, I do think the extra learning curve is definitely worth it if you do plan on scaling in the future. So yeah, the link to ClickUp is gonna be down below. They have a great free plan, but they also have a paid plan as well. I encourage you guys to just try out the free plan for now. And if you do need to upgrade in the future, then you can do so. So yeah, that's it for this video. Feel free to reference it at any time. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you found some value from this video. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you start up your business. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.